how are you guys i hope you are doing good and i'm also doing good and i thank god this is another day that the lord has given us and we thank god for every opportunity that we are living because it is not a usual thing it is very very uh it is a very very big blessing and that is why i don't take it for granted for me to be alive each and every minute i thank god today 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 i want us to flash back and i'm gonna give you my personal story i don't know how far have you ever traveled for love how far have you ever traveled to chase love how far have you ever traveled in search of love today is the day my real story so back in the days when i was very young and hmm, back then i even had a waist not like right now i have to look for my waist but back then i even had a waist and i had just completed my high school and uh, i went to nairobi to search for better life like anyone else would and um i don't know if i actually found a better life but all i know is that the life at nairobi was better than what i could get at the village so I had just sat for my KCSE, Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education. And for those who don't know, I passed. Sio sana, but si kwambaya. So, I had this high school boyfriend. Huh? boyfriend. And um, this boyfriend was a chopi. <laughs> so, he happened to join university. I wanted to join KCA, Kenya Poly University. It had just been made a university back then. So I wanted to pursue mass media of which I couldn't because of my background. Okay. I was very good when I, I, I was uh, in high school with uh, languages. So I wanted to do mass media. All right. I didn't do it. But thank God, if I want to do it today, I would still do it. Even though age has really advanced okay so this bf of mine happened to be among the the, the 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 most bright kiddos back in high school and he joined moy university uh eldoret campus and we used to have a phone he used to have a phone and when i got a phone uh we of course shared the number and i was we were able to communicate effectively as much as we would have wanted so we planned for this trip lazima ni kamuone mpenzi so if you know kenya i come from kenya definitely and in kenya we have a place called bus station and then we have a place called behind the bus station there used to be a place called machakos is it machakos bus station whereby you would get buses that goes to the uh, northeastern is it northeastern yeah do you the the the, the, mm, the kisumu eldoret nakuru and this and the rest so it was this early morning that i woke up with so much joy because this is the day that the lord has made so that i can see my boyfriend after a long time so me with myself i just got ready and then it was early morning i took a bus uh, from muchada i think back then i was living in muchada that is banana muchada kiambu and i was living in a ghetto by the way it wasn't a nice house or a fancy one but i was thankful because i could be able to be independent those of you who knows my story uh you know how much of a difference that was making in my life after being a house help for way too long and successfully so i took um um a, um a bus to uh to town narobi town and then i would drop to the machakos machakos a uh, bus terminus where i would board eldoret express bus they used to be very big i think it would it would have a uh, uh, maybe like a hundred passengers i'm not sure so i i got there i paid my ticket and then i sat there and let me tell you something when i got there 
I was told the next bus is supposed to leave around four-ish. Remember, I went in the morning. So I had to go and look for some things to do in, the, in town, in Nairobi town, as I wait for the time for the bus to, to start um, the journey. Because if you know, back then, they used to have hours. So if you miss the first one, which was actually, if you wanted to go early morning, you had to board, I think, at night, around four-ish. Kitukamayo. So, I waited for the bus time and then we left. It's going to travel overnight, okay? Me, I can't wait. I am so much happy. It, the, I feel like they are wasting my opportunity that has just come for me to be reunited with my boy, Faye. Hey, hey, what a joy. Hallelujah. Eh? The time came and remember, I'm the one paying my own ticket. Back then, we didn't have to mafia. No, there wasn't nothing like you are visiting your boyfriend and he has to set the fare. No, we were very much fair back then. Very fair, fair with them men. Like we would ship ourselves. We didn't have to be to be to be catered for. In fact, we would ship ourselves together with the, our services and our everything. It was just free will. It was, I think the grace was so much back then. Like I am paying my own ticket to go see someone, a son son of Sarah somewhere. Son of son of oh my god. And I am not in pain. I am doing it willing, willing, willingly. So, willingly. The bus started the journey and um, it's going to be traveling overnight because it was like 10 hours. If I'm not wrong, it was like 10 hours or 8 hours plus. So, on the way, it was at night and I think it became morning as we were still yet to arrive to Eldoret because these buses used to go, uh, they, they, they would drive up, up to a certain um city for example naivasha and then they will stop there and some people will get out and then they're gonna wait for more to come in and fill the seats and then start again so it took longer than i had expected but man there is no long distance when it comes to someone that you love this was my first love you in a kwanga freshy freshy and this was back in the days where I would say this with all due respect. When you are younger, it's kind of like something seems too big for you than they are. So this was a, a very good opportunity for me to travel and also to go and get reunited with my boyfriend. All I can remember right now the the the, the Naivasha, the, the Nairobi Nakuru Eldoret Highway used to have a lot of potholes. A lot of potholes. Somehow I even felt like they were valleys. Like you would just go in and come out as if you are coming from a cave and it is just a pothole. How big they were. So the journey was very tiresome and on the road I couldn't afford to buy food or drinks. So I think I only bought maybe one soda. It used to be $35. I mean 35 shillings back then. Fanta soda. Origin color. So plastic in a, in, a bo in a plastic bottle. So I think that is the only thing I was able to take the entire journey. But I didn't care. I'm going to see my head. Oh, I how would you be hungry when you are traveling to go and reunite with your rib? How? It is not possible. So, me, myself, and I, I think I had a little backpack. Back then, we didn't used to have a lot of clothes to carry. I don't know fancy things. I don't know makeup. I don't know what. It is just me, the way I am. We used to come as we are, just as Christ said. Come as you are to me. You see, that was the situation. And we were happy. So, I remember the, 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 the road used to have a lot of potholes. And that would make the journey even longer. And also, it would make you very tiresome. 
along the way i i think i remember i saw uh, a lot of sugar canes i don't know what the area is maybe it's mumia sugar or something but because it was in the morning it was dawning i wasn't i couldn't see it well and remember you are very tired very sleepy at the same time because the buses didn't used to be comfortable at all they were not so i got to eldoret and we would communicate uh text messages of course and when I got there, um, he came at the bus, at the stage, the main stage, Eldoret. And I used to think Eldoret is a very huge city. Back then it wasn't. But then uh, we went to the campus, the Eldoret uh, Moy campus, Moy University campus. And we took a tour at the school. And uh, I think I think we took a, we went to sleep somewhere because I didn't go back the same day or maybe did i i cannot remember it is way 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 back so i don't know whether we slept in a restaurant or hotel i mean hotel not restaurant or i got back the same day i cannot remember because i was supposed to be working uh the the following week so we went and met it was we were happy and actually there was there wasn't anything major we were talking about because he was in school and i was supposed to be joining school but i couldn't so how far have you ever traveled because of love how far have you ever searched love and for nowadays queens we didn't used to ask for fair are we still together with a guy I went that much for to see? No, <laughs> we are not. Those were some of the, I think, uh, the frogs they talk about in life that you have to kiss. But if it was about kissing, then I think that was a big kiss. Traveling from Nairobi all the way to Eldoret to see someone. And today you are not together. I feel like I need to talk to the guy and tell him, hey, Modu, Shokia Guoko, at least. Yeah? So, being young, I think it, you, you are also energetic and you can do anything. Okay, today, if I was to be in the same situation, I would still travel. Why? Because when you are in love with someone, you can do anything. Love doesn't have boundaries, okay? So mine was all the way to Eldoret. Can you comment down here and tell me how far have you ever gotten or have you ever gone to search for love? Part two coming. Nitawapea story, Mushangai. Part two. And I'm not talking about back then. That one gonna be current one. Or maybe most updated. Let me use the word most updated one. So, love doesn't have age. It doesn't have an age limit. For you to fall in love, it doesn't have to be. It is because you are young. No, some people think they were young and stupid. No, you were young and exploring. And when you grow older, you also want to be loved and want to love. So, love is, doesn't have age limit. You can love any, any time of your life. And it is okay. All right. See you guys in the next episode. Uh, keep looking and keep subscribing. Keep sharing. See you guys and God bless you.